Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how I did the editing of this image because so many of you are asking me to do a tutorial about how I edited this image that I posted on Instagram so you can also go and check that out so for this I used the Canon R to shoot this image and I used a beauty dish while I was trying to shoot this image because it was a little bit windy outside so I'll show you how I got those rich orange tones and how i got the sky to pop so right now i'm in capture one and that is what i used when i was trying to process this very image so in capture one on the image layer what i did i simply came and took my highlights down and i did the same for my whites to recover information in the sky area and recover the information in her outfit so you can see initially the outfit was a little bit blown out because of the light that hit this very area. So after doing that, I simply added some contrast to the image around 7. Then I came and opened up my shadows a little bit to around 22. Then I slightly took the blacks down. Then I came to my levels and took the black point of my levels to around 5 to add some contrast in the image. So on the image layer after doing those, I simply came up and on the layer option, I right clicked and simply created a new field adjustment layer. And on this new field adjustment layer, what I had first do is first of all, play around with the greens to make them pop. And also, I'll also play around with the sky area to make it a little bit more blue. So I'm just going to come down to my color editor tab and simply come to my basic adjustments come to the greens for this case and try to make the greens pop so I play around with the hues so at around this side the aqua side the greens are going to be popping so you can even intensify on the saturation if I told you wish to so I'll also come to the blues and also intensify on the saturation of the blues and also do the same for the lightness I feel like that is okay so after I've done this I'll just come to my basic or my advanced rather and I'll just come and get the speaker tool and click in the sky area in this case so the sky area is going to automatically show that we have blues so I'll come to the saturation and simply take up the saturation and as soon as I do that, you can see how oversaturated the sky is getting to be and how it is popping. And I'll also come to lightness and play around with the lightness. So I, I won't take this all the way down because this is going to create this kind of artifacts in the sky area or the area between the sky and the trees. So I'll just leave this around 27. So when you come back to our basic panel right here, you can even intensify the saturation of the blues even more. So you can see what we have so far. This is the before, after, before and after. So after doing this, what I did next was simply coming and evening out the skin color or the skin tones of our subject. So in this, what I did, I simply came back up and created another adjustment layer, another new field adjustment layer. And with that created, I'll simply come back to my color editor and simply select skin tone. So with skin tone selected, I'll just come and get the color picker tool and sample an area on her skin. So I'll just come and sample the area of her skin. So I'll sample that area and you can see it chooses a range for a skin tone. So I'm just going to come to my uniformity and take up the uniformity slider so for this step i just want to ensure or make sure that her skin is a little bit more on the uniform side so i'm just going to take this high and you can see we are getting close to those nice rich and brown tones that i had initially so i'll come back to my basic panel and play around with the oranges so i'll just come to the orange slider and slightly take down the lightness of the oranges but one thing you should notice is we have slightly changed the color of her outfit so if I told you don't want her outfit color to change we are just going to 
paint away the color grading from her outfit manually. So I'm just going to come to this layer and with the layer selected, get the eraser tool and you're simply going to zoom in by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard. And you're going to press M on the keyboard so that the mask can display. So with the eraser tool selected in this case, I'll reduce on the size of my, my eraser tool and simply paint over her outfit just like that and the reason I try it is displaying this red color over the subject is because the mask is the one displaying so in order to erase the effect we are simply going to reveal or hide the mask from affecting our model's outfit so I'm just going to be doing this over the rest of her outfit and later on we go straight into Photoshop for us to do the retouching so I'm just going to come to the lower part of our outfit and this can be quicker if at all you own a graphics tablet so as a photographer always remember that you have to invest in a retouching or graphics tablet and these are really affordable so it will take you so much time if at all you use a mouse to edit your photos and it's going to be quicker if at all you use a graphics tablet so if at all also the makeup change, use a very small brush. So I'm using the bracket keys to reduce or increase on the size of the brush tool or the eraser tool in this case. So I'll press M once again to hide the mask and you can see the outfit has gone back to its natural and original color. So you can see before, after, before, after. So after doing this, what I did next, I'll simply open the image back to Photoshop. So I'll come to image, edit with, and choose Photoshop or the version of Photoshop that you are using. I prefer the format to TFN, 16 bit selected. I'll just come to edit variance to open the image in Photoshop. So it is going to take a while, and depending on how fast your computer is. So after bringing the image in Photoshop, what I did next was working on the skin retouching. So in this, I'll just come and use my actions. So the tutorial is not a long one. So I use my 16-bit action because this is a 16-bit image. Play the action and use a radius of around 3 pixels because this is where the details are just starting to disappear from the skin. Click OK and the action is going to play. And come and get the mixer brush tool and start working on the skin so for the settings of the mixer brush tool basically just going to come back to my brush clean brush is selected then the second option that says clean brush after each stroke is selected weight is 9 load 75 mix 90 flat 100 percent make sure sample all layers is not turned on and in this i'm just going to start working on the skin so increase on the size and try to start blending the transitions on the skin and in this way we're just going to be smoothing the skin so you can see how quick and fast it is when it comes to editing your photos when you're using a graphics tablet to edit don't mind if at all the image is looking blurry because we can always get back the information because we have slightly hidden the texture layer or the detail layer so i'm just going to paint or even out the skin and you can see I'm mixing colors that are looking nice or similar so that we can create a nice and smooth transition among those colors so I'm just going to paint just like that to remove all those unevenness in the skin tones or in the color of our subjective skin so come to the lower part of the body and also try to blend the lower part of the body to smoothen out her skin so you can see now the skin looks better and you're getting rid of those black patches on her skin so right now this is okay and if at all the cloth has some folds you can even eliminate or remove those folds quickly by painting using the mixer brush tool on this very step so after we are done with that i'm just going to zoom out command minus come and turn on the texture layer and you can see 
that we have been able to get a nicely smoothened out image so before after before after you can now zoom in and remove the pimples or blemishes so for this case the model didn't have all those blemishes so after this i created a stamp with Bolia by pressing shift option command e for mac then for windows is shift alternate control e then i came to filter camera filter so with the camera filter selected i'll just come to my color mixer and i'll simply play around with the saturation levels so to make the blues pop you can even intensify the saturation of the blues even more but when you overdo this you can see the artifacts on the edges of the trees so don't do overdo this just a slight level of saturation will do and come to the luminous and slightly darken the oranges slightly and click ok so we're back into photoshop and in this i simply created a selective color adjustment layer then simply selected the blacks and took the science slightly high to around three and also the black slider to around three then i did a little bit of eye whitening so we're just going to come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer take the saturation other than around negative 79 and press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard zoom into the image by using ctrl plus or you can use command plus and get the normal brush tool with white as a foreground color make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches you can reset by pressing d on the keyboard to reset to black and white then simply come make sure the hardness set to zero mode is normal opacity in the flat hundred percent with white as the foreground color you can reduce on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard and simply paint in the white area of the eye to whiten the eyes so basically this is all i did for the color grading and editing of this of this photo so after that i just had to come to file export and come to export as in order to save this very image so it doesn't change in color when i post or print it also format is set to jpeg quality all the way through the maximum which is seven the resample set to by cubic sharper because i want a sharp image then also the color space measured these two are checked convert to srgb and embed color profile click export and save the image wherever you want to save it and as soon as you save it it's going to automatically close that window so this is how i did the retouching and color grading of this image and if at all you have learned a thing or two don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching see you in more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating